Do you feel stuck in a rut? Are you in a slump? Are you just unmotivated, feeling tired, feeling blah, just wondering where is my energy? Well, you've come to the right place because in this video, I'm going to share with you some scientifically backed strategies to get motivated fast, so keep watching. Sasrika, my name is Sasha and welcome to today's episode. If you see me looking down, don't mind, I'm just referring back to my notes and making sure I cover everything. So our first technique is great because it gives you a fresh start at any time and really opens your eyes to the big picture. One of the reasons this method is so empowering is because it detaches you from your past failures and gives you something to look forward to. Basically, you want to give yourself a little pep talk. You want to remind yourself of your goals, where you are now does not matter. So, write something down to make it more concrete. For example, say you've wanted to start a business for the longest time, but you're just, again, feeling blah, you're unmotivated. Write something down like this and you can recite it. And I'm just gonna read this off of my notes. I've been waiting for so long, too long. It's time to start the business I've been dreaming of. I'm gonna start off slow as a side project now and see what happens and where it takes me. Today is the day I'm going to make things happen. Believing in yourself and in your statement will help things materialize. But having this on a piece of paper is gonna make it feel more real and it's gonna be right in front of your face. So when you say it out, out loud, make sure you say it with some conviction and some oomph. I'm sure you've heard a lot about body language, but you might not realize how it affects yourself as well, your own personal physiology. So if you're hunched over and you're feeling like you don't want to be around people, you're gonna give off that energy. So what you wanna do is position yourself in a power pose. And how you do this, get your chest out, spread your arms, Take up as much space as you can. That's the complete opposite of being hunched over and you're gonna feel more empowered already. Stand up if you can. And the reason this works is because it basically boosts your testosterone and decreases your cortisol levels. Holding a high power pose for just two minutes, whether or not you're standing, as long as you're taking up space, you're breathing and your posture is much better than a hunch position, your testosterone levels are gonna go up, your cortisol is gonna go down, which is a stress hormone, and you're gonna have a boost of confidence and decreased stress. Focus on your feet positioning, smile more. You know how they say fake it till you make it? There is proof that if you smile when you're in a bad mood, it's still gonna make you feel better whether or not you want to. So just do it, force yourself. And don't say you can't do this because maybe you're sitting in a cubicle or something. Excuse yourself to go to the bathroom for a minute if you're embarrassed to do this in front of people, which I totally get. It might be sort of weird if you hop out of your desk all of a sudden and start, you know, hands on your hips and all that stuff. So do what you gotta do to get motivated. So far we have a pep talk and a power pose, what's next? This one is really simple, invigorating, and calming. Basically, put yourself in the company of some greenery. I keep something green. I'm not very good at keeping plants alive, so I have this little succulent and it actually looks like it's fading, so I don't know how it's doing. Some theories hypothesize that the reason for this is when people think of green, they think of growth, I'm guessing trees and plants and such green things. Essentially, seeing the color green is a cue 
to achieve mastery over a task and to remind us that we have room to grow. So if you're in an environment that doesn't have any greenery, maybe go outside on your break, walk in a garden, take a stroll around a park, um, I don't know, put some green stuff in your cubicle, some pictures of trees, something serene and nice. There's a lot of ways. Or get a little plant like this. I realized it didn't focus the first time, but look how cute it is. I don't know if it worked that time either, but hopefully. And this one might be a little interesting. It involves dark chocolate. For a surge of motivation, you can have some dark chocolate. And the reason is, this makes your body release dopamine and phenylethylamine. I don't know if I said it right. I hate that word. Phenylethylamine? I don't know. It's so long. Technically, it's boosting your serotonin and phenylethylamine. If I said that correctly, again, hold on. I think I put how to pronounce it. Uh, well, whatever. But basically, those two things stimulate and trigger the release of dopamine for your body. The dopamine release is basically gonna make your heart rate go up and increase your motivation. And as an added bonus, as long as you do at least 70% cocoa, you're gonna get added benefits of antioxidants and caffeine, as you know as an upper end that can push you into a more motivated state. I recommend using all of these techniques together, and if you think you're particularly in a heavy slump, if you will, maybe incorporate these into your daily routine just to get into the swing of things. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have a favorite, comment below, or let me know what gets you motivated.